I'm done with you. This is your ear. That has refused to hear what? One of these days, I will wrench you off your head. Stop and get. Mama, you're hurting me now. Hurting you. Do you know what pains me most? The church. You would think that a Christian woman like me is not capable of bringing up my daughter in the way of the Lord. Imagine, before I left home this morning, when I noticed that she was wearing this lousy dress, I told her to go and take it off. Not knowing that as soon as I left to attend the official meeting in church, I told her to meet me up there, that she went up and still put on this lousy dress. Hey! God! Hey! You just look at her breast. Look at my daughter's breast outside. Oh God. Hey, what have I done to deserve this embarrassment? The presence of my brethren. What have I done? Hey God. I've been trying all my efforts to bring you up according to Christian doctrines in the Bible. As written in the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, verse 4. You cannot even try to reciprocate. You cannot. Why don't you respect and obey me? Why I can't you be why? Sister, I hate you. Hey. Hey. Shame. Listen again. In whatever thing you do in life, no matter where you go, let your Christian upbringing reflect. I want you to be a child other children will emulate in and outside the church. You know why? Because you are the daughter of your mother. She named you Ukasiobi, which means my comfort. Now, my dear God, I want you to answer me truth. Would you prefer to be your mother's Sorrow or her comfort and for you. Her, her comfort and for you. That's very good. Now I want you to apologize to your mother before me for your misconduct and disobedience to her. Sorry. I'm sorry for my disobedience and misconduct to you. I promise before God and man, I, I won't do it again. It's okay, my God child. Hmm? That's all right. Um, now you can go, but remember that I promised you something the other time. And I must fulfill it. But not until I start seeing those changes you just promised. Okay. Okay, my child. Um, should I get rid of this one? No, no. Uh, but you can still be wearing it at home, but do not wear it out, okay? Okay, bye bye. Oh, what do you think? Cool. How can Tenan stop Yes, because she's cool from the house. Amen. <laughs> hey, why don't you go into the house for a cup of water? Water again? Uh -huh. Can't you see the, the empty bottles in water the car? I'm full, I'm full. Let me just hey. go and prepare something for my husband. Uh -huh. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Hey. wait Sister Lydia, silver or gold, I have no. But, just take it. Let me go and prepare something for my husband. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Bless you.
And I hope that one will hold you for 10 minutes while I prepare lunch. I'm sorry I have to prepare lunch late because I have to drop some of my Christian sisters at Maja area. I'm really very sorry. So that save me the gist and go get my lunch ready. Or I will metamorphosize into <laughs> incredible <laughs> and then out the bye. <laughs> Did you pray for me? Of course, you know I will always do. Though I'm believing God that one day you'll give your life to Jesus Christ. You always pray for me. That's what I wanted to hear. Every other thing is irrelevant before I metamorphosize into Please, please. Ah, my love. If I'm a, if he yes. just gets out for me, why then did you walk away when I needed you? Where is the love? Where is the love? Where is the love? Why then did you walk away? Why then did you walk away? When I needed you. Why then did you walk away? When I needed you. Sir, Chukuka believed you spoke from the heart. Yes, I did. What, you don't believe me? Um. I do, and I'm happy for you. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm also aware that um, she offered to train you through the university. Mm -hmm. She did. And um, I'm told you turned down the offer, preferring to train as a local beautician. I wonder why you would do that. I wonder why you choose that over attending a university where you can easily read the same course. And you know, at the end of the day, make me, Lydia, the mother of a graduate. <laughs> Mama, look, I mean, even a fool in this country knows that going through the university as a daughter of a nobody is nothing but a pure waste of time and money. Because at the end of the day, such people don't usually get jobs. So what's the point? I speak very good English. I can read and I can write. I'm even sure I write better than lots of those people that have gone through universities. So there's so much I can do with my knowledge. Yeah. Don't worry, Mama. I won't let you down. If you say so, if you say so. And um, what was Sister Chukuka's response to that? Nothing. The minute I made my intentions known to her, she said, okay, that everybody should be on the lookout for a private beauty institute for me to enroll, which she was going to sponsor. After which she was going to set up a standard beauty salon for me to run. She said that? Yes. Hey! Ooh. I have a God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. Ooh. I have a God who never fails, who will never fail, and who can never fail forevermore. Hey, Sister Chukuka, hmm. I've never seen such love in all my life. Oh. Mm. You know, and I remember some time ago when I approached her with a little thing as, you know, creating a vacancy for you in her plaza, you know, so I could work as one of our attendants. Huh? Oh, I didn't know she was planning quite such great thing for us. It's oh, very nice. God bless her. Amen. Hey, my God, it really <laughs> never fails. Ah! <Yeah>. Ooh. <laughs> mm. 
Um, look, what is it? Chinik me. From who now? From who else? From Sister Chukuka. A whole 30,000 naira. Hey! Hey, what? Hey, Mama! This is a miracle. You know, our house rent is as good as paid. You don't need to tell me. My God is good. I have a God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. I have a God who never fails. Who will never fail? Who can never fail forever? Sorry, how much? Thank you. Customer, no, no. What do you want? I need to see. I'm on. I'm on for some. Sorry. Thank you. Thank you. I said, make you relax. What could you now? Tony, what's up? Why they dry your line? Things where you there? Yeah? Nah, bad next one. What kind of bad day is this? Bad day. How do you mean? My dear has been cutting and cutting and cutting my call on and on. Yeah. What is that supposed to mean? Bali. Bali, my man. <laughs> See, eh? You go hear me, eh? I would like you to go on that. Go now and look for something new. Leave this be. Leave out. What is that supposed to mean? You know what that means? You ask what that's supposed to mean. You know what that means now? Nah? You must be that crazy or jealous. Uh, Me? Be crazy? Am I crazy or jealous? No. When you have somebody like me, that in Kasobi, I hate her a lot. Oh. She hates my gods. I don't even like her either. Will you shut up, Tessa? And any more of such, you take a walk. <laughs> Obini, take note. Hmm. Hello? Hmm. Brabani. Hmm. You remember me today? Oh, you remember to call Rina today? That's interesting. Mm -hmm. I'm at home. No, I'm in Kasi Day shop now. Okay. Man. Well, I'll try, Sha, but... Hmm. Brother, you said to me, oh. uh, I'll try, but you said to me, oh, anyhow. Eh, okay, okay, I trust you now, brother. Okay, I'll try, all right, I'll turn. Okay, bye. Woo!
Good evening, Mark. How are you? I'm fine, Mark. Um, Mama, I remember you, you promised me today. You promised me today. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yes. I remember. I am. Go and help yourself to some. Let's not be great, I promise, my wound. Thank you, Mark. All right. Thank you. How is my case? Massage, take a My friend, will you move your hand? Oh, so you finally come? Uh, till now, the other is from our home. Eh, long throat. Let her take something. Mommy, just forget about it. You don't know how many times I asked this girl to come here and help me out. It doesn't matter. Let her take for the one she has been laboring for you for these past days. Let her take some. Oh, yeah, take it. Make it a dodge to walk like ten bullets. I have a meeting. 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 I have you can see? I'm inviting you to our church program coming up very soon. I'd like for you to come. Well, my mother will not allow me to attend any church program in another church except in our own church. Well, that's for my father. He doesn't have a problem. Mm -hmm. Then I'll be forced to talk to her myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mama Marina, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mukasi. How are you? I'm fine. Now. Where are your mama? Oh, she went to bring some beans. Yeah. Okay, now. Uh -huh. Eh, hey, Rina. Yes, mama. When mama and Kasi come, just let me know. Eh, what? Okay, mama. Mm -hmm. You see your life. You see your life. Not only for outside, you they take power for work. Not only go for judgment. Mama, not only now, why are you talking like that? She know why now. Asam! Asam, you. You. She know they work for anything. This girl. No problem. No problem. Not only God go judge you and me. Not only God. Hey! Not incident, oh! Not incident! You feel like you're still naive, oh! Hey! Not incident! When will accident stop happening on that road? Eh? Every time! Mommy! Mommy! What the hell? 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 Oh my god, oh! Hey! I don't know! God bless you.
Now, let us pray. Yes. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we commit your daughter unto your divine care. Father, we pray and ask for her quick recovery. Amen. Father, please forgive her all her sins. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. She will be all right. Sister Cassie, she will be fine. I don't even know if my mother will be able to work with her legs. Oh, don't talk like that, Sinkasi. She'll be all right. Yes, yes. So she will be fine. You know, see, this hospital now will go get the sabi drop well, well. Look at every weapon. Eh? No, be one year hospital where Boniface directors go yesterday. Even the landlord and the wife follow. No, say, what do you want that they touch everybody for my If they touch, hmm? was even uh, Mrs. Chukoka that brought us to this house. Eh? Ah, she try you. She try not be small. Eh? Maybe you go go down, Kamo. Because that woman, her good mind for now, is too much. That woman, they good though. She's too much. Woman. Oh, I'm not Sorry, bro. Don't worry. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. What's it happened, my neighbor? Are you my neighbor, girl? Why? Eh? She, she left early hours of this morning. Baby, we must say my neighbor can go now. Eh? Because me, I don't understand this kind of English when you speak. She's dead. She died this morning. Eh? She's alive. Mama Kasobi, my neighbor, is not true. He's not true. Hey! He's a liar. He's a liar. He's fine. So, based on what you said today, you never see him again. Oh! Hey! Death is inevitable. It strikes unannounced. Five years ago, I felt the pain you're feeling today. When I lost two of my lovely children in a motor accident. I wept, but I did not ask God why. I believe in what the scripture says about death and resurrection. I know that in the last day, we are going to meet all our family members who died in the Lord, and we will never part again. <laughs> She should have waited. She should have waited to see me change. To see me fulfill the promise I made to her. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. God knows your heart. Because I don't want you to cry like an unbeliever. It's okay. Mama, why? I'm going to be here for you. She's <laughs> 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 
This used to be in Rita's room. Everything in this room belonged to her. That's a portrait. She was about your age then. Honestly, I I hate to come into this room because of the sad memories it brings. Rita had death really created a big vacuum in my heart. She was referred to as the angel of the house. But it's okay. It's okay now. You're here. Come on. Come on. I'm happy you're here. So be pleased. I want you to do me a very big thing. Can you feel the vacuum? I don't trust that it has cost me. Can you? Can you be the angel of this house again? Be a daughter to and I promise to be a mother to you. Please, I promise. I'm very sorry for the loss of your beloved daughter, but I promise you, I'll be exactly what you've asked me to be. Oh, thank you, God. I will kill you. I will kill you. So this is your room now. I want you to to feel very comfortable, okay? You're part of this family now. Let me go ahead and get out of this. Comfortable being in such a stinking relationship with your son. I mean, it's it's outrageous. You know? What is thinking and outrageous about 
asking my own son to send me the pictures of his girlfriends. What is? Honey, if I lay my hands on that your lousy laptop, I'm going to erase everything. How can Chike be keeping such sinful looking girls as friends? Chike has blood in his veins. Nkasi, please, wrap up with this and come and join us. Honey, stabbing your chest with your fingers does not mean you have prayed. Any prayer that does not end with the name of Jesus Christ is no prayer. So what do you think? Let us pray. Father, we thank you for this food which you have given us from your bounty through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Damn. This food is something else. That's in Cassie's not the work. Mm. <laughs> in my opinion, this is a swell job from my darling beautiful one. Okay. There's no point getting fussy here. In Cassie, be. That's fine. Who prepared this meal? I did. Yes, but the directions from your grandmother. The only thing mommy asked me to do was to tell me what food would be served for lunch. Really? My mom was a very good cook, so I watched her and I learned from her. Wow, Lordy! <laughs> no, I have seen somebody. Who cooks? Like my little boy. Bravo, Lucas. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Thank you. Yeah, Dad, I know. I'm taking care of all of that right here in the States. I'm already in touch with a couple of machinery companies. I have some engineers who are looking up things for me here. All I want down there in Nigeria from you is to secure an area that will be more suitable for my plants. Yeah, some, some good industrial estates, but swamp free. Yeah, you see, son, when you informed us that uh, you wanted to set up a company in Nigeria, I and your mother were happy, okay? And we swung into action. I object a few uh, adverts on sale of properties. And then there's this particular one that has folded up. Yes. And they occupy quite a large hectare of land. And it's also swamp free. <laughs> yes. Right now they are dismantling their equipment and machineries. Okay? Where is that located? Uh, that's at um, Barclays Road. You know Barclays Road. Well, that's good. That's good. That's good. Um, I'll buy them up. No, no problem. Can you fix it up there? Yeah, so I will conclude discussions with them tomorrow, but, I'm, but you know, I know they want to sell it and uh, I'm sure you will be able to afford it. Hey, that's my cowboy. I heard that. Now listen boy, you don't call your father cowboy. It's only my wife here who can call me cowboy because, you know, she's my wife. And Dad, you have to be for real, okay? <laughs> hey mom, what's up with you? Oh son, you want to know what's up with your mother, right? Eh? Oh yeah? Oh, Three things are up with me. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Mom, I understand where you're coming from. You're right. Well, I'm good and my business is booming. Oh, that's very interesting, Mom. Very interesting. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Chicken, why did you send those crazy pictures to your father? <laughs> Next time you want to send pictures to your father, send pictures of landscape, everything about nature. Listen, son, forget about landscapes and nature because I've seen all of them. Send more pictures of nude girls. No, 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 no. We're talking about my husband here. Yeah. Look, listen.
Good afternoon. Where is your godmother? Um, she's attending an official meeting that started after service. She sent her apologies. I'm here to make lunch, sir. I hope you don't mind. You're welcome. Thank you. There. Yeah. Thank you very much for understanding. Have a please come. You know, you look very wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, sir. The dresses actually belong to Henrietta. Listen to me, damn girl. I am not talking about the dress you are wearing. I'm talking about you, the woman in the dress. Huh? You know, you look like an angel to me. Honestly, you're beautiful. Thank you. Mm. Take a look at this, for instance. There's nothing they have that can compare with yours. Honestly, take a look. Flip through. Yes. There's something they lack. But you have got. Hmm? Um. I'm through with it, sir. You are? That's all right. Bless him. Let me make a confession. I'm a sucker for your beauty. Uh, permit me to give you the Hyacinth House Queen of Beauty. Yes. <laughs> and it attracts so many prizes. Yes, first of all, freedom and liberty in this house and in my company. Hmm? And then other prizes you're going to get. Okay? And there are so many, plenty of them. You understand? Now join me in welcoming the Queen of Beauty in the Harrison house. Put your hands together. For your real self. <laughs> now, now listen, one more thing. This beauty queen thing must be between you and I. You understand? Don't say a word to any breathing thing in this house. The mosquitoes, wall geckos, Name them. And uh, the godmother must not know about it. You understand what I'm saying? You know, people get jealous. And jealousy sparks of hatred. And hatred could be very deadly. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I, go, I do. Good. Remember, it will be between us, okay? Uh, do you have pocket money? Is that what I have? I'll give you pocket money, okay?
Yes, yes. It's past midnight. So that you know, can come to help me. If, if, if I don't get this ready for delivery at 9 o'clock this morning, I'll be in trouble and my company will be in double trouble. This is a court order. Is your company in any kind of trouble? Okay, you have not heard of the uh, Basculine Limited case with my company? I thought, I thought the case was resolved two years ago. Okay, know it now that the case file has been reopened. Okay, sweetheart, go back to bed, okay? When I'm through with this assignment, I'll join you, all right? I'm married to work out. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Good luck. Come. Keep the door ajar. I'll, I'll be with you soon. Is there anything you want me to do for you? You know, I told you that I was going to bring some pocket money for you. Right? Here is the money. Thank you. Now, don't let your godmother know about it. You understand what I'm saying? How is she? She's fast asleep. Don't I deserve a hug? Hmm? Ah, Queen. Let me go. Sleep well, okay? And good night.
He's a crook. I know. But he's got style. I think I like this, but I want to know their mix, so I can make my choice. Okay, just hold on there. Okay? No. Sorry. Hello. Yes, Mr. Brian. Yes. No, no, just come with the correct amount of money. And I assure you of my confession. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll be on seat till the closure of work. Okay, okay. I'm expecting you. Yes, yes, yes. Mommy, um, a customer over there wants to buy the corkscrew. Okay. She wants to know where it's being made. Oh, well. I think she wants to buy more than just this too, so... Oh, well. Just tell her that this is made in France. Okay. While this is Singapore. Okay. okay. France, Yes. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Hello. My name is Robert Crow. Oh. I'm a sales rep for Marik Merchandise Limited. All right. I have a handsome deal for you. Um, my company has just brought in consignment of gas cookers and um, we would like you to purchase some and it all boils down to the more you buy, we'll give you an attractive discount. I have a catalog here um, of the various types of products we would like to uh, oh. Hello, cowboy. Sure. The cowboy is hungry. Oh well. Uh, I guess I have to go home now to warm it up. And what kind of food would that be? I have stew and um, soup. So you have to make a choice between rice and eba. None of the above. Okay? This cowboy wants to eat bread food for lunch. Comprende? I understand? Oh, sweetheart. How on earth am I going to prepare that thing now? You know it takes time. And I need to buy most of the ingredients. Done. I said the cowboy needs to eat that food for lunch. Okay. Okay, I'll try. I'll try. Rose, uh, I'll be living in the office now, about two hours, I have to go and get at home. If there's any urgent message, you can call me. But any other thing, let us hold on until I come back, okay? Give me that! Hold on. Oh, there you are. 
Very good to know that you're tired of lunch today. Hey, lunch is almost ready. I hope it's ready now. Almost. This is for you, my dear. Daddy, you're so kind. Kind to us. You got all this for me. You see, when I said total freedom, my queen, I mean total freedom. No matter what, you need it always, unless when you are married, it gives you freedom to enjoy sex without any fear of unwanted pregnancies, uh, venereal diseases, etc. I bought it for you. Because I don't want your beauty to be rubbished because of one, two, three minutes excitement called sex in the stand. I am thinking about your future. Do you understand me? Yeah. Yes. Good. So wipe that frown off your face and give me a smile. Eh? That's my baby. Mm. Hold on. Oh, there you are. Thank you. It's good to know that you're tired of lunch today. Hey, lunch is almost ready. I hope it's ready now. Almost. This is for you, my queen. Daddy, you're so kind. Kind to your parents. You got all this for me. You see, when I said total freedom, my queen, I mean total freedom. No matter what, you need it always, unless when you are married. It gives you freedom to enjoy sex without any fear of unwanted pregnancies, uh, venereal diseases, etc. I bought it for you. Because I don't want your beauty to be rubbished because of one, two, three minutes excitement called sex in the stand. I am thinking about your future. Do you understand me? Yes. Good. So wipe that frown off your face and give me a smile. Eh? That's my baby. Mm. You know, I just got home not quite five minutes. Like I got see the table is set, but uh, I haven't talked to him yet. Okay? How are you? Oh, my love. I miss you too. All right. All right. See you there. Daddy, there's a problem. The pot and the content got burnt. God, I don't know. She's going to be so disappointed in me. Just calm down. Calm down, okay? 
I will show you what makes me tick. Okay? Come on, come here. Just come, come, come here now with the fear. I got the call. What you want to do? I don't want to take us anymore. Go and Since you saw your wife last. Yes, sir. Yeah. And uh, let me call Nko to come and stand by for you so that you can go and see your wife and children. Why? Is it because of money? Yes, sir. It's all right. It's all right. I'll give you some money. So you go and see your wife and touch her. Make her feel like a woman again, okay? Yes, That's all right. Thank you, man. All right. We throw the damn thing away with the pot and then we buy a new pot of the same size and type. Okay? Then I claim that I ate up all the bread food. Okay? Case closed. You understand? No, you're as rugged as a young man. <laughs> I've never seen anyone like you before. You ain't seen nothing yet, baby. <laughs> Hustling and bustling, I mean, all that. I, yeah, it's all nonsense for all I care. I'm here making money for you two, so you guys have to give yourself some break. That, you, stop breaking that back of yours sitting in that office managing some guy's company. Take some time out, mom. Come on. Look, have fun, okay? So you can at least last for me, please. Just do me that favor, will you? It's okay, son. We've had you. 
Oh, surely last for you, okay? Son, no worry, my boy. I'm going to drag your mom, that's my wife, to the nightclub this weekend. In hot pants. I'm going out shopping tomorrow to buy a special hot pants for you, honey. Daddy, <laughs> you just go ahead and do that. Just grow up. Are you not ashamed of what you're saying? Baby, I grow up. The truth is that you are as old as you think. Oh, look at me, baby. I am young. Hey, mom, you just talk like that, okay? You just play along with that. And they were to send me some of your, you know, nightclub pictures. <laughs> yeah, let me see mom, you know, in bomb shots, for example. Mm. <laughs> Bye. Please. I'll send them to you. Yeah, because I'm going to, I said I was going to drag you. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetheart, you can see that our son is doing marvelously well. Yeah. Come on, girl, let's drink for that. Thank you. Hmm? How is she? I gave her a fix. I hope she's sound asleep. No, she'll sleep till morning light. Trust me. Where is the condom? We agreed that the next time you were going to come here, you would bring some money for me. 20,000 naira precise. Yeah, I forgot. How did you Well now, Mr. Harrison, 
you took advantage of me and established a relationship with me. I hope you know the relationship is soulless, no attraction, no interest, and cannot make me happy. Now this is my deal. If you know you can't be without getting between my legs all night, it's 30,000 Naira per night. And don't even try to come around my room with 29,000 or anything less. I will scream loud enough to wake the dead while biting you like a mad cobra. Thank you, mommy. Hold on. Look at Your countenance just gave you away. It shows you've been doing something that is very bad in the sight of both God and man. You know what I'm saying, don't you? I know it's so difficult to say that you're no longer the zealous Christian that you used to be. That fire that was ignited in you has just died down. It has died like the burning wood in the rains. Because you'll be wild. You slept. You slept in Kasubi. Why? Why? You did not just sleep at last Sunday's service, but at today's Bible class. I was up there at the pulpit teaching. Every head was caught up, everybody listening with rapt attention. But you that came from the same house as the teacher slept all through the episode. My dear God, daughter, you better sit up. Sit up lest you untie the noose that binds you and my family. And that noose is Jesus Christ. Let us sit up. Take these things away. Baby girl, your official prize, 30,000 Naira, is lying by the foot of your bed for a special rumble tonight. During the last rumble, I remember vividly you requested from me a good camera phone. That is, if we should be rumbling condom free. So it's going to be flesh to flesh tonight, tongue to tongue, okay? Be ready and keep the door ajar.
You see, sometimes I cast my mind back to, to those good old days in the 50s in New York when you just joined me. Honey, please, don't take me back to those years of sin, please. Sin? Huh? You and I, I mean, you and my wife, you and I used to get about a lot. And uh, at dusk, we would go to the cinema houses to watch uh, John Wayne, Mickey Rustic, Panel Roberts, uh, Charlie Chaplin, and the rest of them. Did you ever for once give me a breathing space to see those stars you're talking about now with your sinful ways? Did you? Oh, come on, I wasn't loving you. Honey, you are a spoiled brat for a time. Yes, honey, and that's why I, I spoiled you. Hmm? You know the white man says, you spoil your wife, make her love you more and more. I spoiled you. <laughs> Say it. Yes. Do you think I would have let you do all those things to me if I had known Christ then? Huh? You wouldn't have loved your husband. But the, the, the good book says, love your husband. Love your... But you leave your home, your father, mother and everybody and then become one. Oh, one. <laughs> Say it. I love you so much and you know it. Or well, this is a time for you to take off the garment of sin and wear the garment of Christ. Huh? Amen! Amen! Amen? I am not joking, sweetheart. This is a very serious matter. Love is a serious matter. And Christ has signed it. That's why you and I are going to be here together forever. <laughs> Sir, please, let me just drink up and sleep. Please. Oh, my goodness. Honey, go nice and sit out. Good night,
Don't you think it must be as a result of stress or something? Honey, I don't know. I don't know why, but there's this weakness and dizziness I feel every morning. Really? Yeah. But, honey, I've complained to you a couple of times. Yes, I. I remember, but I think uh, that um, a few dosages of aspirin and. Uh, Multivitamin will make you feel a lot better, don't you think so? So yes, I almost did not go to work two days ago. It's the same weakness and dizziness. My bones couldn't carry me. There's this dryness. There's this dryness in my throat. It's so severe this morning. Ow! Oh, Jesus God. It's alright. Uh, I want you to try my prescription. You understand? And then I'm sure you will be better. You will be better. Okay, Jay. Okay. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. Okay, Jay. Mr. Harrison, your wife's health has been badly affected by those drugs you feed her. I'm able to find out because I spend time with her. She's no longer in her right shape. Your act is detrimental to her health. I advise you refrain from that and cook up some other strategy. Have a nice day. Yes, Monk. I don't think I'll be able to make it to the plaza this morning. As you can see, I don't feel too good. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. So, you go and open the plaza. Be watchful of the shoplifters and my attendants. They might take advantage of my absence. When I'm a lot better, I'll join you, okay? Okay, mom. Auntie, I'm going to be my best. Bless you, child. Sorry.
Yes, Metro. Please endeavor to see that the results of us to urine and blood will be ready as quickly as possible. Yes, Metro. Mr. Harrison. Yes, ma'am. Please, why don't you see Dr. Evan? Thank you. Doctor, pardon me, but what did I just say, say about her heartbeat? Yeah, her heartbeat is uh, below normal. That is related to the dizziness and uh, weakness of the bone. That is completely strange. What could be the cause of that? Could it be stress or something? <laughs> no. I say, uh, stress will in the least affect the bones. But now the heart and the bones are affected. So stress is ruled out. So, what is it? Well, uh, we don't know for sure. But uh, the picture will become clearer when the results of the jury analysis will come out. It's out. You know. But, um, don't worry. We are going to Mosa back to health. Mr. Harrison, your wife's health has been badly affected by those drugs you feed her. I'm able to find out because I spend time with her. She's no longer in her right shape. Your act is detrimental to her health. I advise you refrain from that and cook up some other strategy. Have a nice day. Mr. Harrison, you don't have to worry yourself too much. You know, like I said, she is in the right place. I suggest you go back to your office now because we are going to admit her for about uh, two days. She needs uh, intensive medical attention. Doctor Ebony, I'll count on you. How do I? Could I see her before I do? Oh, yes. Um, but please, if she's asleep, don't wake her up. So I hope the plaza is properly locked. Yes, I you are not going to open it, let it remain locked. But I'm a lot better. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Well, tell me, well, what, what are you really suffering from? I won't let them as supposed to. But the doctor's findings show that I have some lethal dose of what he called designer drug in my system. How, how come? My dear, I, I don't know. But according to him, 
that I could get it through food, drink, or inhalation. Honestly, my dear, it is a mystery to me. It is. You call yourself a druggist. Yes, man, you're a piece of shit, not that. That's what you are. A piece of shit. Yes. Listen, I put it to you that you are a quack. Yes, that's what you are. You said what? You are mad. You are mad, yes. You gave me such a drug with a corrosive effect to feel like a human being. Ah, what were you up to? What? You are a professional druggist. No, man. You are not a professional. You are a crooked person who went into drugs. Yes. When you gave me that drug, what were you up to? What did you want to achieve? Okay, you wanted to put a mother up on my head. No, man. No, man. I am going to get you. I am going to get you. Yes. I promise you. I will get you. The fucking bastard. Jobs. Damn! Look at that! Harrison Chukuka, you're playing the soccer to one little girl. How? You touch right! Like that, against a rocket man like me. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. Thank you. Oh, Madame D. She's getting better. Yeah. She was going to make a way with her loot, you know. I don't know, but 
if somehow my instinct gave me the thing that said now, yes. And I walked in. When I got in, I saw her trying to escape through the uh, 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 exit without loot. Of course, I caught her. I caught her and called the police and I handed over to the police and I wanted them to detain her for as long as possible. But when I remembered your relationship with her and her mother before her mother died and all that, because I told the police to let her go, let, let her just get out of the place, that's all. That girl is, is, is something else. Where I prepare something good for my son. So, welcome home. Africa is sweet. Ah, I mean, it's sweeter than any other continent in this world, believe me. I mean, blessed with beautiful people like my mom here who knows how to put this and that, that and this, to make a sumptuous, delicious meal like this one. Mm, I tell you. How else am I supposed to welcome my son who has been away for too long? Well, son, you know you had um, rice and ufaho for lunch. And you're having a ba and a goosey soup. Guess what I'm going to prepare for you tomorrow. Oh, tell me, Mom. In sour soup with fresh fish, oh. mangala, oh. snail, and I'm going to spice it with otters. Oh. Now, Dad, tell me, ain't I lucky? Yes. Am I not lucky? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are very, very lucky. In fact, I am you. Know. You can say that again. <laughs> yeah. You told me you were coming home for lunch. Yes. And I abandoned everything I was supposed to do at the last Rushed back home, prepared the meal, but you were nowhere to be found. Son. You didn't come to clear the order you placed in the kitchen yesterday. Why? I mean, Dad, you and four people do know why. You left me at the site at about, what, 7 p.m., and I had to break away from the site at about quarter to 11. Listen, setting up a factory deserves a lot of time, okay? I've not even had an hour of rest myself in order to see that things will run smoothly and swiftly as well. You see, my contract with the engineers from Germany and Japan stipulates that they only have two months to finish up the installation of all the machinery and equipment for the factory. Now, if they do not do this before the expiry date, then I'm in big trouble. So you see, Mom, I need your prayers now more than ever. Oh, well, son, you've already started it. And by the power and inspiration of your Almighty God, Amen, amen, amen. So, shall we move to the table now? Yeah, sure. Mm. Sure, I'm going to eat them. Yeah, don't get disappointed, my good people. So, son, what exactly are you doing with Gilead Steel Corporation? 
Well, they approached me through the company's general manager from the center. And what was your reaction to that? Well, I'm still chewing on it. JK, let me tell you, copies is the best instilled in this country. Their products cannot be compared to the billions. So don't mind them. Okay? Well, I hear you, man. After all. Alright, mom. You take care of my mom now. One good son is better than 12 children. A boy is doing tremendous work there. Oh, hey! 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 The court is in session. And any unauthorized movements or utterances shall be dealt with in the court of jungle justice. Body, yeah. take this woman and just put her shit away. Here comes the judge. Here he is. Sorry, I'm sorry for what happened. Don't you listen to me. Listen, listen. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry. I, I give you double of what I took from you. I'm sorry. How much can you pay back for my own store? Lady of the ground trampled on. How much? Just name it. Name it. And yeah, you have it. Oh. <laughs> No, no, Katsuko, please. Please don't give me have mercy. Eh? Hey. Hey, please, 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 please. Oh please. Have please. So much fun. I know. Please, please. please. Thank you. 